Hey guys, this is Mega Monkeys with a Cinema 4D tutorial. This one is suggested by Mr. Green here. Um, he was wondering about how to make the teat of a uh, baby bottle. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do the whole bottle in this tutorial, um, including the teat. Um, so I'm working from this little vector image, um, and this is what I uh, ended up with, so I hope you'll follow along with me. Uh, we're going to be trying to keep this as procedural as possible. Uh, there will be, for example, for this rim, I ended up going into polygons, but if you would prefer, you can do it all procedurally. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Here's my scene. I will create a new scene. So since Green asked for the teat first, um, well that's all he asked for, let's start with that. Uh, I'm going to be doing this using NURBS, so of course for NURBS you need to start with a spline. Uh, so in this case I think I'm going to use a B spline. Um, so let me just grab that image back really quickly, and I'm just going to dock it beside my viewport here. Um, just so I can look at it, look at the shape. Um, so we're only going to be drawing half of it for this NURBS. I am uh, in the right uh, viewport right now. So if you go to uh, cameras in the viewport and then right or left, front, back, any one of those, uh, just so that you can draw uh, correctly. So the, uh, the B-spline, you can use any uh, type of spline drawing you want, but I'm going to use B-spline. Uh, B-spline works just by drawing points. There are no handles like there would be um, with a Bezier, for example, which is more popular. Um, so I'm just going to draw this out roughly. Um, just tweak it a little bit. Um, like this. I th think that looks alright. Um, so the spline currently isn't anything if we render. It isn't a 3D object, so what we need to do to make it so is um, put it under a lathe nerve. So if we hold alt while doing that, it will make the spline a child. Um, so if we look at that, that's kind of fatter than I was looking at, so we'll go back. This is the procedural nature of uh, working this way. I can still edit my spline. So if I go to my point, I can go back. Um, just make this a little bit thinner. Uh, just like that. Uh, so I'll bring it out a little bit. Um, look at what I did in the previous one. Okay, it looks like it goes out, comes back in, and then back out again. Something like that. You can tweak this more if you'd like. Um, you can also trace over an image if you loaded it into your viewport, I just hit shift V, put it in the back, you can load an image, uh, but that only works if you're in a, uh, not perspective, but, uh, one of these viewports, um, so let's go back to perspective, um, so we'll call this the teat, uh, and then next step, let's make a simplified version of the, um, this lid, so easy way to do that would just be to create a cylinder. Uh, call this the lid. And of course it'll be a lot shorter. Something like this. Just check. The right there it looks like. Just round it out to 30. Uh, and it's a little bit wider in relation to the top part. Um, Okay, so we'll just leave it like that for now. And then the bottle itself, um, to do that, 
Let's start with another cylinder, call this bottle, and bring it down here. Um, and then let's use a uh, let's use a taper deformer. I'll just make it a child of the bottle um, and size down the deformer just to be slightly bigger than the uh, diameter of the cylinder. And before to have any effect, we're going to need to increase the height segment so that it has something to taper. Uh, otherwise it won't be able to do anything. Let's increase the strength a little bit. Move it down, oops. Move it down. Make the bottle a little wider. Um, okay, and then let's make it less curved. Make it not as tall. Uh, down the strength. Okay. Something something like that. Um so that's a little bulgy. Um bring down the curvature again. A lot of this is just tweaking like anything. Um, okay, something like that works. Uh, and then to round off the bottom, we go into our bottle caps, add a fillet. Um, and 5 at 20 works. Looks like it works pretty well at this scale. Uh, and we'll have to move it up a little bit to cover the top fillet. Um, let's make this bottle a little taller, actually. About 250. Bring it down to match. Just like before. Looks alright. Uh, fiddle with the taper. Of course, to do this, you could use a um, a lathe nerves again on a spline. Um, I'm just trying to show you a couple different ways of a uh, cu couple different techniques. Um, okay, um, and then on the lid, let's add a fillet on that as well. Except we'll want to make it smaller. About five centimeters, two segments. Looks pretty good. Uh, so you could leave this like this if uh, if you wanted to. Um, but to add these little ridges on the lid, I'll show you how to do that. Um, in this case, I let's copy this. I just did that by holding Command and dragging it. You could also Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V on Windows. Uh, and press C to turn it into a polygon. Um, and then I'm going to go to my top view. It's F2 on the keyboard. Uh, let's hide all the other stuff. Um, except for this lid, the copy, the, um, and go to point selection mode. And grab my rectangle selection and delete everything. Uh, but one section. Uh, careful not to, to delete the middle. Okay, so now I've just got this one section. Um, I'll go back, you can see that, and I will put it under an array. Again, if you hold Alt, it'll make that a child. Um, okay, now it doesn't look right. If we bring the radius down to zero, and then increase the segments. Okay, in the normal one we had 36 rotation segments, so that means we'll need uh, 35 copies. 
because we have the original, so it makes 36 total. And so at, this, at the moment, we have the same thing as we had uh, in our parametric cylinder. Uh, except what we can do now, since it's a polygon, we can uh, cut this a few times. I just hit K for the knife tool. Uh, and right now, we're in line mode. Uh, and let's just drag out a few cuts um, make sure to match it all the way down so you don't have any end gons remaining um, just point to point uh, it's over I could have done a better job with this but I try and rush through okay so we have a bunch of segments here I'll try and space them a little more evenly, actually. And they're in straight. Um, so what we can do to straighten them up is grab just that um, column, and in the point selection tool, go to the transform and bring it down to 0%, and that will straighten them all up vertically. It should anyway. Um, Oops, make sure you only select those. Okay. Just like that. And then move these over. Okay. And then with these middle let's just try these middle two let's move them out and you can see because of the array and the procedural nature of this it'll create these ridges all all the way around um, so you can see even though it's uh, I made a polygon object it's still procedural we can change this at any time uh, just in the way we set it up, uh, you can change change this a little bit to however you see fit. Um, in a little maybe. Uh, and let's bring back all of these. Uh, get rid of this, and now we have it with. The, uh, with the ridges. Uh, and let's adjust the teeth spline again. Again, because it's procedural, we can go back into this at any time. Uh, just smooth out the transition into this, um, this lid. something like that and uh, yeah I think that's looking pretty good uh, so I'll show you what I did for my previous one that I spent just a little bit more time on uh, you can see I've got the lathe nerves with the spline a uh, bottle with the taper I ended up taper tapering it more I guess for this one uh, I've got the rim under the array I just put some lights on um, this extruded spline uh, just for uh, for the lighting for the background put some lights uh, my materials um, I use the yellow for the uh, for the teeth the most mouthpiece a uh, slight bit of transparency with uh, some specular um, and a bit of reflection and for the lid just white, um, you can make it any color. For the milk, I used white with transparency, except I used a, um, a gradient so that only the top bit is transparent to kind of simulate that um, only the milk is only at the bottom. So I just used a gradient, white at the top, black in the bottom, not much um, of a gradient between them. Uh, I'd make it look like milk here, empty here. Um, and again some specular and then the background just a circular gradient um, 
so yeah, I try to go through that pretty quickly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And thank you for watching.